In this video, we're going to learn how to paint glowing fireflies in a jar. The materials you will need are a pencil and eraser, watercolor paper, a piece of black paper, watercolor palette, water and a brush, white craft paint, q-tips and toothpicks, scissors and a glue stick, and an optional ruler, and if you don't have watercolor, go ahead and use just regular paper and colored pencils. You will begin with your paper portrait style, or going up and down, and we will draw a curved line on the left hand side, and another curved line facing that curved line on the right side. We are going to begin drawing our mason jar. We are going to draw a slightly curved line that connects those two at the bottom and another slightly curved line that connects the top. Next, I'm going to just do one more little curved line that mimics the bottom line that I just did. This is going to be the top of our mason jar. Now we're going to draw the bottom. So I'm going to draw one big curved line towards the bottom of my paper. A small little curved line on each side. And then we're going to connect those to the bottom of our jar. Now I like to use a ruler, but if you don't have one, just feel free to freehand a straight line the best you can. Next, I'm going to sort of round out all of those edges, including the ones that go towards the very bottom of that curved line. Next, go ahead and erase any lines, and then we're going to add one more curved line at the bottom to give the illusion of our jar being more three-dimensional. Next, grab something small that's in the shape of a circle to trace. It could be a small cup, even a spice holder. These are going to be the floating, glowing orbs that surround our firefly. Next, we are going to begin drawing our fireflies inside those circles you just drew. Now, it's going to be a series of shapes, so draw a small circle for the head, a larger circle oval shape for the body, and sort of rounded triangular shapes for the wings. Continue that process of creating your fireflies with shapes and lines in your remaining circles. Next, grab a black sharpie and begin tracing all the lines you just drew. Now, if you are going to just be coloring with colored pencils or crayons, feel free to use a black marker. But if you're going to be using watercolor like myself, make sure it's a Sharpie. Now it's time to start painting. We are going to want to paint everywhere except for inside of those circle orbs that we drew. The key to this, to have success, is to work quickly yet precisely. 
You can use a variety of blues, purples, teals, greens, blacks, whatever you want as your night sky to fill in around the fireflies. Now it's a very wet technique and again you're working quickly because you are going to want to add the yellow inside of those circles before the blue completely dries. That is going to let the yellow seep into the blue and bleed a little bit, creating those glowing orbs around the firefly. You also want to think a little bit about value and adding just a variety of colors and hues so that it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. Once you've covered your surface, get a clean brush for your yellow. You want to make sure that it's nice and vibrant. Start in the middle, working your way out, and it is okay if they touch. Again, that's where we want the colors to start to sort of bleed into one another, creating a little bit of that glowing effect. And just work your way all the way around, doing each circle on its own if you need to add a little bit more blue so that it can kind of bleed into one another go ahead and do that as you work then i like to get a little bit of a tissue and sort of just dab it and it sort of just gives it a smooth edge Once you have finished the jar, go ahead and work on the lid or the top of the jar. You can color that in with any colors that you would like. Once you're done painting your jar, go ahead and set it aside and let it dry. Once it has completely dried, I like to go back in with some colored pencils and just add a little bit of value or reflective light qualities to my jar. Now this is totally optional, you do not have to do this step. Also then we want to add a little bit to our fireflies using our markers or colored pencils, making their bodies look like they're glowing and giving some detail to the wings. I also like to use a metallic marker on the wings to add just a little bit of visual interest. Next, you want to draw a few little circle stars inside your jar. Now you can use this again with the same metallic marker if you have one, or a white colored pencil, or white paint and a q-tip or a toothpick like in the technique that I'll show you in just a moment. Next, we're going to cut out our jar with our scissors and glue it onto a black piece of paper for the night sky. Our final step is to use a little white craft paint to 
create some stars on our black piece of paper. So I like to use a combination of Q-tips and toothpicks, but you could also use the bottom of a paintbrush or any other little object that you might have laying around the house. So go ahead and just dip that Q-tip into the paint and just start dabbing little circles around your jar. Next, to give a variation, I like to then dab my toothpick for some smaller little stars. Once you have finished with your stars, you have successfully completed your glowing fireflies.